Hello everyone, I am Dale Ganey, sales engineer with Arcom Digital. In today's video, I'd like to go over how to use the Arcom Quam Snare web client. First, you must access your correct URL for your server. You will be issued a username and a password. If you have forgotten your password, you can click on the Forgot Your Password selection and have a new password generated for you. Or if you choose to change your current password, you can do that here. So again, a username and password will be issued to you by your administrator. So connect to the server. The page that is first displayed here is the system settings portion and the server page. This will show you all of the hubs that are currently assigned to your server. You have the hub name, the IP address of the HSP or head hidden signal processor. You have the detection profiles that are being used by the processor, your PSID number, your plant miles, and the status of the processor. Whether it's online, it'll say OK, or if it's offline or not connected to the server, it'll give you a no connection indication. The channel profiles are set up in the Quam Snare Manager. And if you scroll down, you'll see the legend of the different channels that make up the detection profiles. For example, QAM1, the aeronautical channel selected for QAM1 is channel 17, 141 megahertz. Choosing QAM2, you will reference channel 20, 159 megahertz. And you can see that some of the hubs are using QAM1, QAM2 channel alignment or channel detection for the two different hubs. And further down gives the legend for the global OFDM channels built in your profile. If you have any pilot channels, pilot generators, and your global uh, analog channel lineup, the detectors tab will show you a list of the ARCOM meters that have reported to the server. The meter device ID, MAC address, if you will, the current software on that particular device, the tech ID and tech name that was assigned to the meter during provisioning, the department group or supervisor that that meter was assigned to, if the meter is currently online, the channel profile that it is currently using for detection will be displayed here. You see the status as being offline and the last time that the meter reported to the server. The technicians tab does show a list of the technician names that are assigned to the meters. Moving to the work order tab, this area will show you all of your leaks in the server. This is a Google powered map with street view functionality. You can zoom out, you can zoom in. It also has satellite capability. Again, it's Google powered. All of your leaks in your server can be uh, located here, you can access the entire server, multiple hubs, all of the hubs. Again, all the leaks are are uh, available to view here. The, sir, the the web client will default at leaks, displaying leaks at 20 microvolts and greater here. You can select all if you would like to see all of your leaks. And just reload, that'll show you all of your leaks. The unassigned are leaks in the server that have not been assigned to any technician. The open leaks are leaks that are currently assigned to technicians 
and of course leaks that are closed today. Tech ID here, the number of leaks displayed currently on this page shows at 50. You can choose 10, 50, 100, or 5,000. You can sort by hub. You can sort by level, leak ID, or the last date a leak was updated. And you can reference high to low, microvolt, or low to high. And of course, the leak ID. Making any selections here, you're prompted to reload the page to show your selections. Selecting the drive outs tab brings you to the list of current devices that are logged onto the server or connected to the server. As a technician, you should see your device at the top of this list. If you do not see your device at the top of this list, please check and or reestablish connection to the server. Once you see your name, you may select your name or your device ID. This will open another page. Selecting your device will bring up your drive route. The blue dot is your device, its current GPS location. The black line that you see is your current connected drive route. This is a Google powered map. You can see here you have street view availability. You can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. All of the leaks that you have flagged during your connected status will be displayed with the bubbles. As you navigate around the map, if you choose to go back to where you are currently GPS located, this arrow, if you select this arrow, it will recenter your location. All of the leaks that you have accrued for your connected time will be populated here. Show all brings all of the leaks up. If you desire to look at a single leak, you can select the info tab here beside that leak. This will open up a third page. This will show you the work order leak ID, the RCOM leak ID. It will show you the first detected date of that leak. It will show you the last date that the leak was updated. Your latitude and longitude coordinates. The address field may be populated. It may be blanked out according to your, your company's programming. The hub will be displayed here, the node that the leak is in. The zone radius is defined as 13 meters or 40 feet bubble radius around that leak. Our COM will not flag another leak within that 13 meter, 40 foot bubble. The LTE, off air LTE level and DBM will be displayed here. The information about the leak, the microvolt levels will be displayed for any and all of the bands that the leak had been detected at. Manage, if you are using a third party ticketing system, please close all of your leaks in your third party managing platform. If you are using RCOM as your primary ticketing base, you can close this particular leak at this location. If you select manage, it will display other options below. Close, reassign, delete, or go back. Selecting close allows you to use pre-programmed close codes. And of course, to close the leak permanently, select the close tab. The nav history, you can select a date from and to and select a technician, show tracks, and you will be able to reference 
any of the leaks that that particular technician has driven. After you have selected the technician that you wish to view the drive route, scroll to the bottom of the page and choose load tracks. This will open a second page. And as you can see, another Google powered window will open up that you can zoom out and zoom in. The black lines indicate the drive route, the streets that were driven. And of course, the bubbles will indicate the leaks that were detected for that time period. All of the leak information will be displayed at the bottom. Leak ID, leak level per band, the LTE, off-air LTE strength, if you will, will be displayed there. The hub and the node. Snoop usage, you can select a date from and a date to or a particular de department or group, or a technician, view a report of that SNOOP usage. Moving to the Reports tab, Coverage Report shows all of the hubs assigned to the server, a PSID number, the number of miles driven, and the percentage of miles. And in this case, this particular hub, there's 10 miles of plant. In this quarter, it has been driven 100%. And there are three leaks reported in that hub. And of the three, all three of them are actionable leaks. Those actionable leaks, the parameters for those are set up on an individual server basis. Total leaks per each PSID. Each hub has its own PSID. Some hubs will share the same PSID. The total number of leaks per PSID are combined if more than one hub has the same PSID. Leak statistics. Enter a date from and a date to and click show. This will show you the hubs the frequency ban, leaks that detected or versus actionable. For example, in this hub, there were two leaks detected in the low band. Two of those are registering as actionable. Middle, mid band, the same, high band, the total. The leaks on average, you can see an average of leaks here for the hubs. Drive out report, select a date from and a date to, and select the technician and then show. The report will show the amount of miles that the technician has driven during that time frame, broken down by each individual date and given a total at the bottom the amount of leaks that were detected during this time frame also broken down by dates any repaired leaks reported back to the arcom server as repaired and the individual daily online time and the total online time for that particular time frame the motion report under this section you will select your requested hub. Under the node section, you can select an individual node or you can select all of the nodes for that particular hub and the period that you wish to reference from three days up to the last 30 days. Select show. It does, in fact, bring up the complete drive route, which you can zoom in in the hub all of the nodes listed in that hub, and you can zoom in to see the particular streets that were driven for leakage during that referenced time period. The summary report, 
This report is full of information for you to view. You will select a time period from 60 days down to three days, perhaps a month or even a quarter. This case will select 60 days and then you must select get data that will refresh your screen and show you that information for that selected time period. The report is individualized per hub. We do give you a total for the total amount of leaks for that 60 day period as we're using or the period that you selected. And we break those down per hub as well. The total amount of low band leaks that were detected as well as mid band and also the high band. All those will be broken down per hub as well. The repaired leaks are shown here, the total amount, and then per hub, and as well as the low, mid, and high frequencies also broken down per hub. The tech usage, we give you the average texts that were online for that period and then the maximum amount of texts that were online. We also break down and give you a time frame from average and max, 6 a.m. to noon, and then 12 noon until 5 p.m., and then, of course, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. The total amount of miles that were driven and the amount of miles per day and then the average amount of miles. If you have your technicians assigned to a, a group, you can also find that information, the exact same report information broken down here per group ID. The server health report. This report covers a seven day period. This report is also downloadable to your computer. It is downloaded straight to your download file on your computer, and it is a CSV file or a comma separated value. This report shows all of your hub names, the detection profiles, and the amount of leaks that were detected in that seven day period. This will also give an indication in red per hub if there were no leaks detected in that band, in that hub, for that particular period. It's a great tool to look at to determine if you need to troubleshoot that hub for any issues, especially if you have a situation where zero leaks were detected. Again, this file, or this report rather, is downloadable as a CSV file straight to your computer device, the hard drive in the download folder. Hello, my name is Rick Garth, sales engineer with Arcom. I'll be assisting you on how to navigate through our website to get to sales manager coverage area and contact information and also sales engineer coverage map and contact information. First, open the web browser and enter in the URL arcomdigital.com. When you hit enter, you'll get to our home page. Click on resources. This will take you to our info hub. The info hub includes various resources such as the Arcom Library, Arcom Academy, Arcom uh, user guides and Arcom's install and update. Next, at the bottom of the right of the web page, click on service and support. At the bottom of the page, you will notice you can click on sales territories and sales engineering territories. Sales territories will represent in color code the sales managers responsible for your coverage area, the sales managers that can assist with pricing of filters and ARCOM digital products. Next, you have ARCOM sales engineering territories. This will show ARCOM representatives for the coverage areas when you need assistance with training and technical support.